Welcome to Speedway Harley Davidson. Today we're going to be taking out this SHD Custom Cholo. Let me tell you a little bit about this bike. So this is a 2023 Heritage Softail. We've added on the Carlini Chrome Gangster 14 inch bars, the DNA Specialty Saint Cholo wheels, the Shark Tail full Freedom exhaust system, and in case you couldn't tell, the HD front and rear lowering kit. And we did everything to turn this Heritage into a SHD custom Cholo. Now let's see how she rides. Okay, so we're about to pull off, but how could I forget what added to the look of this bike? Our matching blanket roll. So if you wanna go on a picnic or something, you unroll that baby, lay it out. And we also got a Mustang seat. So we about to be comfy on this cruise. Okay, let's get her cranked up. So as soon as I grabbed the grips and hopped on the bike, I forgot to mention that it has grips added on too. I noticed the difference when I grabbed them. I was out there doing a couple of pictures of the bike and there were some people driving past the dealership that literally stopped, pulled out their professional camera and started taking pictures of this baby. That's how much attention this bike will get you when you're out riding it because it has that unique style that you don't see every day. Let us know what you think about the color concept with this color with this cholo style and the matching um, blanket roll up there let's talk about these 14 inch bars while we're riding the bars are completely choloed out they are 14 inch your arms are gonna be up in the air i am six feet tall and my hands are resting about where a little bit higher than where my chin is it probably is where my mouth is that's where my hands are resting on these handlebars and how comfortable is that for me they're a little bit taller than i would prefer but when you want that cholo style this is what you deal with some people love those taller bars they're not ridiculously tall where my hands are above my head like i've seen on some cholos but they're definitely taller than what I'm typically used to. The great part about this bike is we did it on the Heritage platform. The Heritage is gonna be one of your most comfortable motorcycles. Out of any soft tail, any motorcycle in general, in my opinion, the Heritage is one of the most comfortable. And you do feel that with the ride. Even though we lowered it, it still has a very plush ride to the motorcycle. I can still feel that performance, but this isn't necessarily a bike that you want to be ripping on. You're going to want to cruise on this motorcycle and just relax and enjoy the ride. Now this bike has an 18 inch front wheel, which does ensure that you're still going to have that comfortable ride while you're out riding. This exhaust system sounds pretty good too. This is one of my first times hearing this exhaust on a motorcycle. And of course you've still got plenty of torque if you want it and you need it this bike will definitely move without a doubt we've completely chromed this motorcycle out so you're definitely going to make a statement when going down the road you're going to see all of that chrome immediately the high bars the chromed out wheels the blanket roll the fish tails going out the back you're going to be making a statement when you're on this bike now right now it does just have the solo seat on it so therefore, there's no room for a passenger back there, but you're definitely able to add that on. And I do believe the stock seat and bags will come with this bike when purchased. So if you wanna take it back to a full-on heritage look, you definitely can, but why would you do that when the bike looks this good? And you know, you're still gonna get all your features that you'd get with your typical heritage soft tail. Quite a bit of traffic today. This isn't typical. While we're sitting here in traffic, Cause I can't go anywhere. Let's take a quick look. There you go. You can see the bike. Man, it looks good. Got full LED lighting everywhere. You got those beautiful chrome wheels when the sunlight hits them. Look at all that chrome. 
where the engine is all the way how it sweeps back to the fishtails then you got your chrome rear wheel and your solo seat not sure what's going on up here but there is quite a bit of traffic i wonder if there's an outlet down this street i'm thinking there is because everyone keeps going this way let's find out i really hope there's an outlet down here or i just turned for no reason all right it feels good in the corner the bike is lowered and i'm not 100 percent sure of the lean angle yet so i'm being cautious while leaning and turning the bike perfect we avoided that traffic all right so when we turn here we'll have just a wee bit of fun on acceleration show you that the styling does not affect the performance at all on this machine there we go and so how many of our viewers have ridden a cholo bike or loves the styling of this cholo motorcycle and do you know where the styling for this type of harley davidson comes from where it originated from comment down in the comments below but this bike is probably one of the ones at the dealership that has the most substantial appearance change and will grab you the most attention on the street because if you saw this bike going down the street there's no way you're going to think or consider that this is a heritage soft tail things we did to this bike completely changed its appearance and it's extremely stylish while still being functional i mean for this cholo look you did lose your bags but you can always put some more bags on there you know you lose you lost the passenger seat but you know you still have the passenger seat to throw back on there i don't mean you you can put some bags back on there we still have the stock bags to put on the bike but pulling out of the showroom you're gonna get a ton of attention on this bike like more attention than you can even imagine and it's hard to find bikes that have had all this already done to it cosmetically you know all the labor's done all the parts are already on here everything's already done to turn this bike into a full cholo so if you were looking for a cholo motorcycle or wanting a brand new 2023 cholo bike this may be something you want to consider it doesn't matter if you're in north carolina south carolina across the country wherever you are sometimes you got to step outside of your zone to get bikes like this if this is something that interests you give us a call at the number listed below check out our website message us on social we also have a shop by payment option on our website that way you can find out what your payment would be on something like this once we get up here i'll give you one more walk around of the bike and then we'll call it a day we'll do the photos ah i got an idea we're gonna do them in a different location today I always take photos in the exact same spot let's do it a little different is that field still open i think it is we're gonna go down here where the field is and take some photos so let us know what do you think of our cholo build do you like the wheels do you like the chrome accents do you like the blanket roll the fishtails the sound of the exhaust this is a work of art make sure you like this video comment down below subscribe to the channel share the content with your friends i'm sure other people would love to see this motorcycle and here's another look for you before we go Whoa.